Hi guys, today I'm going to be opening cars from each movie or cars on the road. And then I'm going to be ranking them on which one I like the best. Right, first is Cars 1, and we're opening Jonathan Wrenchworth. Here he is. He's very rusty. But Cars 1 is a really good movie, and out of 10, I'm going to be rating it a 7. All right, next is Cars 2, and we're going to be opening Otis. Another really rusty car. Again, very rusty. Why does Cars 1 and 2 have both rusty cars? Okay, but the Cars 2 movie is actually, I think, better than Cars 1. So I'm going to say an 8. But cars 3 is going to be a little different because the, the only two Cars 3 cars I have is this one and this one. But I'm not going to be opening this one because I am actually saving this for a later date. And like a really later, later date. So... You'll see that one later, but today we're opening this one. This one isn't really from Cars 3, it still is the Cars 3 Lightning McQueen. See, here is the Cars 3 Lightning McQueen, it is the same shape. This is the Racing Red Lane McQueen, and it looks really cool. But for the Cars 3 movie, I'm going to be rating it the same as Cars 1, which is a 7. Lastly, a really cool car, Doug... Crankle. Here he is, and actually he is huge. This is a normal diecast car. And look at this, look at this. And a mini adventure. It's not even as tall as a mini adventure. But this is a really cool car, and I really like it. But cars on the road, I'm gonna have to rate it a six out of ten. Okay, final rate for the final ratings, I said for cars one. It was a 7 out of 10, Cars 2, an 8 out of 10, Cars 3, 7 out of 10, and Cars on the Road, a 6 out of 10. That means that Cars 2 is the winner. And yes, I actually really like Cars 2 better than Cars on the Road, Cars 3, and Cars 1. It is probably the least popular out of all of them, but I still really like it. And especially... The design of Lion McQueen, that one. I really like this. I prefer it over one and three. And also Cars on the Road. Hope you liked the video. Bye.